My mother, my mother with the large, large huevos who left Big Daddy and got a gig when she was 41. And pay attention, anyone out there looking for a gig. Listen to what the guy says who's asking you about your qualifications. All these ladies, she was 41 and she's going back into the business world, as she called it, executive secretary to the vice president of Good Housekeeping or Cosmo. One or the other, right. doesn't matter. She was going for the gig against girls from Amherst and whatever, these Swarthmore and all of this. Right. And there were a handful of them and every one of them college chicks when he said, uh, can you handle my stock and bond transaction? Said, oh, we didn't cover that when I was in Swarthmore. And he hits my mother with the same question. And she says, yes, does your previous girl do this? Mm. And he said, yes. He said, well, she'll be happy to show me. Right. Right. End of interview. Yeah. And she was there with him when they interviewed Sherman Adams, Ike's friend with the Vicuna coat and all. And the first time she saw that dude, man, uh, Buckley turned to her because he relied on her. She wasn't a steno schmuck. She was a goddamn executive secretary right. back when women couldn't get any kind of recognition except from guys who said, hey, she's smart. And uh, he said, what do you think of this guy, Sherman Adams? And she says, he's got a cold, steely eye. Yeah. And he later turned up in the jackpot, man. So, uh, but here's a girl who, when she got I don't understand half of these words. Uh, when, she got kicked, when she got kicked out of Catholic. You are a cool cucumber. Well, she, she was. She was something. She, she had a sense of her own worth. She right. had a sense of her own worth. Even if it was exalted, it caused her to aim high. Right. And uh, she, when she got kicked out of Catholic school, she went to Washington Irving. And the Jewish chicks, it was just mostly Jewish chicks. Boom, class prez. Class prez. What'd you say? And her best pal, Esther Lobel, says, I'm going to teach you how to shop. <laughs> and she just plunged right in. you gotta, you got to get with your cultures, man. My problem when I would go for jobs, they would say, do you know how to do this? And I would say... No shit. There you go. Because I thought that was confidence. That's it does. They it, showed I'd me say, the door. I'd have hired you. Well, I appreciate I would have hired you Cole Pop, man, really. <laughs> but you don't think that the world's not getting worse. It's just not all the all. same. Does it seem that way because of the internet? Because now I can see more of the world's shit. There you go. Okay. There, there you go. And yeah. you're on the internet? I don't know. <laughs> I have a I have a website. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm told. Gonna, I'm going to give you a card. I have a website, and it's good. There's funny shit on it, and my books are on it, you know? And uh, it's the kind of thing you can have fun reading. You, you right. really can. Uh, www.patrickcarlin.com. Uh, right. Yeah. We don't say the WW anymore. Oh, all right. Just there so I know. am. I'm just trying to get with it, man. <laughs> I've got to learn that Morse code <laughs> and the smoke signal, bro. I still drive a stick shift because I'm waiting for the hydromatic to. I want to make sure it's here to stay, man. There's no way you're into Facebook, right? I, I do Facebook. In, well, I do. I friend anybody who says it. Right. And then I get rid of you. I mean, I don't answer you. I just right. don't, I don't do birthdays. I don't give a shit. Yeah, they know when their birthday yeah. is. It's fine. Geekandthegirl.com.